The first time I ever heard the phrase "star chasing" was when I was traveling in Singapore and I was queuing up in line for a bowl of noodle soup from a street hawker at a stand, and I ended up striking a conversation with the couple in front of me, who told me, who asked me, "Are you star chasing?" And I've never heard the phrase before, so I asked them, "What does that mean?" They explained to me that it's very common for tourists who are foodie to come to Singapore and eat at as many Michelin-rated restaurant as possible, and they literally would do this for every single meal, and they would count the total number of stars they accumulated from each restaurant, and that would be their star count for that trip. It's a very interesting concept. And I can understand why it's an activity pretty common for tourists in Singapore because it is said Singapore has the highest number of Michelin stars per capita. And honestly, the variety of Michelin stars ranged anywhere from cheap street hawkers with a simple set of dishes that cost about five U.S. dollars per meal. All the way to high-end, fancy, luxurious restaurants that have a very beautiful prefix menu that costs hundreds of U.S. dollars per seating. But honestly, not to ignore the other restaurants that never gotten Michelin mentions or Michelin stars. There's tons of amazing restaurants in Singapore, and. I feel star chasing may be a bit restrictive, and people may ignore the other restaurants. Well, anyway, if you like my story, please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you next week. Have a great day! Bye.